Hello friends. Well, we have come to the close of October and November is on its way. So it's time to start our new unit. Today I have a mystery box and we're going to guess based on the clues in this box, what our next unit will be about. Shall we take some guesses? Let's see. Oh, it looks like it will be about an animal that has a beak. Hmm, what animals have beaks? Do you think we'll be learning about chickens? I don't know, let's see. Oh, this animal also has wings. And, oh, a waddle. And what else? Feathers. And it lives on the farm. And let's see if we can hear what it sounds like. Let's see. Do you hear that? Oh my goodness. Okay, last clue. We see this animal a lot around Thanksgiving. Yes, you guessed it. This month we are learning about turkeys. That's right. We're learning about turkeys in November as we begin preparing for Thanksgiving. Today's story is a non-fiction story. That means it's a true factual story all about turkeys. So as we read today, we're going to look for some of those keywords. And in our next lesson, we'll label the parts of the turkey that we read about in this non-fiction book. Let's start. Turkeys. This book has a table of contents. The table of contents shows us what subjects or topics we will learn about in the book. And it gives us a page number so we can go straight to that section to learn. Let's see what we'll be learning about in turkeys. We'll be learning about turkeys on the farm, parts of a turkey, we have a picture glossary, an index, and a learn more section. Let's start with turkeys on the farm. I am a turkey. I live on the farm. That's right. Do you see my beak? There's one of the turkey parts we'll be labeling later. I eat feed, seeds, and bugs with my beak. Look, beak is another vocabulary word. Do you see my wings? I do not fly, I am too big. So this turkey, even though it has wings, it doesn't fly because the turkey is too big to fly. We can see the wings under the feathers here. All right. Do you see the fuzzy pults? These babies hatched last week. So a baby turkey is called a pult. That is another one of our vocabulary words. Pults. Those are baby turkeys. Baby turkeys hatch from eggs, just like baby chickens or other baby birds. Do you see the brood house? Pults stay there. It is safe and warm. So the brood house is the warm house that the baby turkeys or pults stay in to keep warm. So many awesome facts in this book. Do you hear him gobble? That sound that we heard earlier was a turkey gobbling. Let's listen again. Do you hear the gobbling? Yes. He 
is a tom. Hens do not gobble. So male turkeys are called toms. Tom the turkey. They gobble, but female girl turkeys are called hens and they do not gobble. Only the boys. Do you see his waddle? It's right here under his beak and it is red when he is upset and gray when he is calm. So you can tell how a turkey is feeling by looking at his waddle. So, let's see, how is this turkey feeling? His waddle is red, so that means he's upset. Oh dear. Do you see his feathers? He puffs them up to make him look bigger. Look at him strut. Hens like a big tom that struts. And here are the parts of the turkey that we learned about today. We'll be labeling these in our next lesson. There's also a picture glossary to remind us of our vocabulary words. Broodhouse, poult, feed, strut, hen, and tom. And there's the index. Friends, thank you so much for reading this nonfiction book, Turkeys With Me. Next time, we'll take our knowledge and use it to label a diagram of a turkey. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.